Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching our 24-hour live show, uh, take two on this. Sorry about that. I'm Mike with Grace Tapper Podcast, as you all know, and I'm here at the Kentucky Humane Society with Speedy and Bailey and Amanda. Yes. Hello, ladies. How are you today? Doing great. We're here with Speedy. He's a one-year-old Shepherd Husky mix, and he is adoptable right now at our main campus. He is also a part of our Bissell Pet Foundation waived adoption fee event. So his adoption fee is waived through December 17th. And he's hoping to find a forever home to spend the holidays in. He is, as you can see, just a giant love bug. He loves to snuggle. He loves to get pets and butt scratches. <laughs> He is also, he's the perfect amount of energy. If you want to do some hiking, some jogging with Speedy by your side, he would happily join you. Do you have anything to say? Um, I really like hiking at the Falls of the Ohio and on the trails to the park. <laughs> yeah, I really like going on dates. I really like sitting in laps and giving hugs. So Speedy is amazing. So he already knows a few commands. So I don't know if Bailey will, will be able to get him to show you a few while while we talk through him. So he knows how to sit. Speedy, can you show all the people on, on the podcast how you can, can sit? Can you show them your sit? Oh, good, good job. Good. Can you give me a paw? Is I can give you a give snoot. A <laughs> yeah. Can you lay down? Snoots are also acceptable. Yes. He <laughs> says no. Not yet. Give me the <laughs> <laughs> He's really good with other dogs too. So if you have dogs at your house and you're looking to bring home another companion to be a good friend, he is an expert at that. He meets a lot of our new dogs that come in our doors at KHS because we know he loves them so much. So um, he might be the perfect addition to your dog crew too. Yes. I have two that I'm working on teaching them to not be jealous, <laughs> possessive. He is a very, he's very good at sharing. Is he? He That's... loves his play groups and doing tugs and chasey games with all of his puppy friends. Oh. And he is just so, so, so sweet and snuggly. They cannot get enough of him. Even the other shelter dogs just love hanging out with Speedy. And we took him over um, to wave with uh, Louisville Metro Animal Services, and he got to meet his new friend Schnitzel over there. Um, and he immediately took him on a little pack walk with him and, and said, let's play. So yeah. he is up for meeting any new dog and um, will become their immediate best friend. But not only for a dog, he does it for all humans, too. Excellent. Speedy, you are a dreamboat. Yes, Look he at wants you. to be your Look new at best yourself. friend. Speedy. Look at yourself. The camera loves you, Speedy. <laughs> the camera loves you, yes. You're the handsomest boy. I know, and you've got that one blue eye and that one brown eye. It's <laughs> it's Perfect soul capturing. For puppy dog eyes with. Perfect to beg for treats, huh? <laughs> oh, you want to come over? Okay, come here. You want to come sit? Ow. Speedy is such a good boy. Look at him. Oh, oh we got burps. Hey, well, we got a burp. That's I okay on this show. All the trips, treats <laughs> must have a burp. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, you want to give smooches? Oh, okay. No, we can. Here, you want to boop snooze together? Okay. He's so sweet. I love him so much. Well, we do too, so but good. we would love if someone else could share our love for him and bring him home. So um, you can come check him out at our main campus. That's 241 Steedley Drive. Um, we have two campuses where all of our dogs and cats are. The other one's at 1000 Linden Lane. So if you see any animals on our website that are listed there, please go visit them there as well. Um, right now is our Bissell um, adoption event and so all dogs that are one year and older or some that have had extended stays in our shelters have waived adoption fees so it's never been easier to bring home a good boy like Speedy um, so help us empty our shelters and come bring home a new love bucket for your house absolutely all right well thank you ladies for introducing the world to Speedy thank you for having him <laughs> happy holidays <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, up next, we have the beautiful Sadie. Yay, Sadie. What can you tell us about Sadie? 
Sadie is a 10 month old healer, Australian Shepherd mix, and she is just a big bucket of love. As you can see, at only 10 months old, she's still got some of that puppy energy. And as a herding dog, we are recommending that she goes home with ages 10 and up because she does have the tendency to tell your kids what to do and when to do it. <laughs> but Sadie is just so much fun. She is great with other dogs. She is just a big baby. She loves attention. She would be a great running partner for anybody who's a little more active. She's got the perfect amount of energy to join you on a hike and give you all the encouragement and kisses along the way. She'll be a perfect moral support accountability buddy in the new year. She <laughs> is good at giving you a shower too. Yes. Yeah, she's yes. good at keeping your face and ears very clean and full of puppy spit. She is, she is definitely a, a sweetie. And and while she's a puppy, she is crate trained and potty trained, so that hard work is done, and she'll she'll be good to go into a house. Look she's part it. pogo stick too, oh. <laughs> and oh. thinks that Bailey's sweatshirt is a toy. So nice you to wear this toy for me today, and I'm just convinced there are treats in that pocket. I know it. Uh, you guys it. You Everything guys is it? a toy. Oh, that was <laughs> cute though. Please, you guys it. I'll wait. There you go. Good girl. Smart girl. So Sadie is only 10 months old. That means she is not a part of our Bissell Pet Foundation adoption event. However, you can come meet her today at our main campus, 241 Steedley Drive, and take her home with you. She's also available for Foster First, which is a 14-day adoption trial period for anybody who is a little afraid of the commitment that comes along with adoption. It gives you 14 days to take the pup home get them settled, make sure everybody's gonna get along with resident dogs and kiddos, and then you can finalize adoption after that 14th day. Excellent, oh, yeah. excellent. Oh, yeah. oh, she is so You're precious, so that shiny fun. coat. We're having so much fun. Oh, we think the microphone, the microphone might be a toy. <laughs> That's microphone okay. belongs in her mouth, yes. <laughs> yes. Do you have a lot to say? I have one of those Do types of dogs. Yeah. I have an everything goes in the yeah, mouth dog. <laughs> their their sensory experience of the world is is with their taste. Oh yeah. I know. Yes. I know. I know. And that puppy mouthiness is just something else. <laughs> I know it. I and, know it. And the good news is, uh, here at the Kentucky Humane Society, we also offer behavior training classes too. Okay. So oh, yeah. If if you're worried uh, that she's gonna bite you on her leash, um, <laughs> like she's playing tug of war now, <laughs> we have lots of amazing behavior specialists who, who will help walk you through the process. Bailey's actually taking one with one of our shelter dogs right now called. Uh, Manners for Life? Uh, I'm doing four, four on, the, on floor. the floor. I actually just finished Manners for Life oh, with one right. of our puppies, and now I'm doing four on the floor with one of our pups, Z-Boy. Okay. It's a three-week class, and it helps your puppies learn how to keep from counter surfing, how to greet guests properly when you've got everybody coming over for the holidays. Mm -hmm. I am learning just as much as the dogs, <laughs> to be honest. Sadie it's could so, probably use a four on the floor. Sadie might, yeah, Sadie might benefit from a class or two, but that puppy energy is also just... A ball. It's so much fun. You're so fun. Awesome. I know. I know. I know. Uh -huh. She is so beautiful. <laughs> Nothing but love behind the eyes of Sadie. I'm telling you. Being here in the room with her, her energy is is second to none. She's so great. So beautiful. Playful. My God, is she playful? <laughs> She is awesome. My, it's my first time out this morning, too, so I got lots Here. to say and lots to do. Sadie, would you like to say hi? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really good at chasing, retrieving, you name it. So um, I'll take the phone. You can dance for us. She says, I am a stereotypical cattle herding dog. I do like to tell people where to be. As I told Bailey, um, let's put baby Bailey in the corner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want one more? Yes, you want one more? One okay. more. All right. You can't say no to eyeballs like that when they're looking up at you, huh? I'd say Bailey and my toxic mm -hmm. trait is that whenever we see a dog, we have to give them another treat. However I many times that. they give us the puppy dog eyes, even if they've already had their, their breakfast and a and hundred other treats, it's, they give you those eyes and you have to give them one more. Uh, my, mine will be snoring on the couch and I just say cookie and they'll both. <laughs> They I'm go from snoring to ears up, and you said cookie, Dad. Go oh, get us cookies. Oh, good shame. Good job. 
she has the bacons involved, there's I can definitely give a paw. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lots of love in her. Such a sweet, pretty girl. You are so beautiful. Yes, you are. Can you say hi? Say hi, Sam. This is not a cookie. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was. Oh. Uh, come here. Oh, are you turning to me on, too? Look at you, talented girl. <laughs> I was like, do you need a new person on your tech team? Sadie was that job absolutely somebody in it that's sadie what's your favorite favorite rock band sadie oh i think she's definitely a metallica girl mm. that is my favorite okay. band <laughs> look at her tell me that's not enter sandman playing on a loop in her head yeah that you're is perfect. my that is my favorite band He's your perfect girl. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah sadie's at our main campus you can come adopt her anytime she Probably won't be here long because she's just absolutely perfect and gorgeous in every way. But if you want to come meet her, she will be here at our main campus, 241 Steedley Drive. Excellent. Play tug of war. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I know. Good sit. And Sadie Good has sit. lots of other dog, puppy, and cat and kitten friends. So if, if Sadie's not who you're looking for, I guarantee we might have the perfect friend. Okay, you see. So I had to turn my phone notifications off. Suddenly I'm getting phone calls and texts. No problem. What do you think, ma'am? I think I want to give my paw. Good girl, Sadie. I'm sorry. I don't have a treat. You ate them all. They're all gone now. You ate every single one we had. Well, then can we play? Can we play? This goes on in your mouth. All right. Well, we have moved into the room where all these beautiful kitty cats are and we have with us who is this one this is ash he's two years old he's one of our longest term feline residents at the moment and he is extra special because he has felc which is feline leukemia it does not make him any less perfect it just means he might need an extra vet visit or two in a year so he is absolutely wonderful as you can see he's just a bucket of love he likes to be held like a baby he loves to snuggle he's really hoping to be your lap cat can i help you graham <laughs> graham I says you? please pick me as the next one to interview please <laughs> i have things to say too but ash is living his best life just cuddling up in bailey's <laughs> arms right now he will need to be the only kitty in his home unless he does unless there is another felv positive cat already in your home in which case we are sure they could absolutely give being roommates a shot but he's absolutely perfect. I mean, he's so content, just snuggled up right here, getting all the love. He is so sweet. I hope his little purrs are coming through on the microphone oh. right now because he's well, here, we'll have playing to it up, on. So. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. He's so cute. Little kitty ASMR. Just a ball of fur. If that doesn't make you want to go to sleep, I don't know what will. He's a nothing good like buddy. a snuggly kitty to get y'all sleepy. Yeah. Oh, and he gives kisses. Oh, goodness. And like our adult uh, dogs, our adult cats are also part of our Bissell Waved Adoption Fees. So um, because he's over a year old, Ash is available for you to take home for free. And um, he would love to just, oh my gosh, you're laying it on me. You make me want to take you home. <laughs> yeah. So we're trying to make it easier than ever um, to bring home an animal for the holidays. So please help us empty the shelter, bring home this little lovable kitty. Um, Ash is ready for you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Say just love me, rub my belly, and feed me snacks. He just wants to be your lap cat this Christmas. Give you some kisses, keep you nice and cozy, maybe join in on a Hallmark movie marathon or two. He doesn't yes. ask for much. <laughs> he makes no promises on if he will or will not stay out of your tree. No. And he also doesn't promise to stay awake during the movie. That's not his thing. <laughs> Do any of us anymore? No. <laughs> we're, we're all just like Ash. <laughs> he even loves wearing bandanas. So if all you're the right. kind of person who you're like me and kind of like to torture your animals by dressing them up. <laughs> Ash will be game for that, and it will, in fact, not be torture. He loves to wear a nice bandana and look extra snazzy. All right. Dapper, if you will. Yes, he is a dapper gentleman. 
He's he certainly is something else. <laughs> and and who who is this back here that keeps trying to steal the show? This is Graham. Graham is only five months old, and he <laughs> you can tell he is just a sweet, playful, adorable little <laughs> kitten. And he says, "I'm feeling a little extra frisky this morning." You knew I was coming. You you wanted to get camera ready. <laughs> <laughs> And he says that he loves other cats, too. So if you already have a cat at home and um, you'd like a playmate for it, uh, Grandma's, Grandma's game. Yeah, get your kitty another <laughs> kitty for Christmas and come pick up Graham. Graham, do you think that this is a toy? Is this camera a toy? It absolutely is. And I <laughs> will go to my deathbed saying so. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is a toy when you're in Graham's world. Yes. <laughs> Bailey, you want to hold this and I'll grab Graham yeah. out? All right, we get to meet we get to meet the famous Graham. Okay. Here he comes. Right, baby. You want to come out now? So, uh, are you suddenly you're shy? A little shy. <laughs> Not oh yet. goodness. Not yet. Here, come here. You can do it. I know. I know. Come baby. Come baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're warming I'm so up glad now. that I'm the one that got to come do this. <laughs> I'm here so happy. <laughs> Are you shy, buddy? I'm a little shy. It's okay. Uh, you know, my home. Oh, I think it's a game. That's what's oh. really happening. You are well, so fluffy. Can we talk to you in your home? Is that okay? Yes. Welcome to my house. Play that music too loud. <laughs> it says, "Hey MTV, welcome to my crib." Yeah, He's in the Graham's good. MTV Cribs. <laughs> That's I like that. That's funny. Uh, oh no, goodness! Yeah, you can do what you yeah. want. Yeah. Say hi, Graham. Hi. Who's your favorite football team? The Bengals. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a local local fan. I have to support local. That's cool. And they have tigers, which I have tiger <laughs> stripes, so I kind of have to be a fan. Yes. Are you a Bengal tiger? I might be. <laughs> he really likes Joe Burrow. Big fan. All Big right. Fan. Joey B. Nice. <laughs> Mostly because we like to burrow in your arms. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so jo Joe Burrow, if you're watching and you need a kitty to adopt, Graham really, really wants to be your best friend. That would be awesome. <laughs> Joe, Joe Burrow, right here. Here's your guy. Here's your guy. This is your guy right here. You're on his fantasy team. <laughs> <laughs> and while my name is Graham, I don't like to be mistaken for a Graham Cracker, so please do not make a s'more out of me. Oh, no. <laughs> so Look at those. His eyes match his coat perfectly. That's so cool. He's so handsome. I decided to be born perfect so someone would take me home. Did it work? Not Are yet, you convinced? But it will be. Are you will. not convinced yet? And Graham is just one of many five plus month old kittens we have as well. So if you're not looking for a teeny tiny kitten and you want somebody a little more laid back, we have lots of teenage kittens and adult cats who would love to come home with you this winter. All right. Excellent. What do you think, Graham? Look at you, buddy. Look at you. That's right. Who is that? Who's that handsome cat? Have you seen yourself in a mirror before? <laughs> this, this is you. This is not another cat. This, this is, is you. Yes. I've seen those videos on social medias before. Yes. <laughs> cats this see themselves in the mirror and then <laughs> jump at the mirror. Oh. <laughs> well, he was pawing at it earlier. He was curious. He says, I am a handsome guy, huh? You're really feeling yourself today, aren't you? That's good. Look That's at good. this guy who's also trying to get his time on. on oh, all right. And who do we have here? This is Xenia. Xenia. Hello, beautiful. How are you today? That's excellent. <laughs> and what, what can you tell us about Xenia? So Xenia is two years old as well. As you can tell, she's got those beautiful tiger stripes and some sweet little spots on her belly. She's been here for a couple of months and she's hoping to find a home with other kitties maybe to play with. She's very, very sweet and snuggly. And she is also a part of the Bissell Pet Foundation Waived Adoption Fee event. So if you want to come pick her up with no adoption fee, she'll be here. And that event goes on through December 17th. Awesome. She's a very pretty girl. Oh, you are so beautiful. Yes, you are. Oh, my God, your eyes. 
your eyes. Yes. And if people are curious about when they come to Kentucky Humane Society and they want to know if they're part of Bissell or not, it's really easy. Just take a look right over here. Okay. All of our um, animals that are, per are participating in the event have a special kennel card on it. Um, so you'll know right away whether or not that animal qualifies for the Bissell free adoption. Excellent. Yeah. And you do apply to the Bissell free adoption event, huh? There she is. This is Xenia. She loves a chin scratch. She loves to bird watch. She would love to be your couch ornament and snuggle up next to you every night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta get my there scratches she. in. There we go. There oh, she she's girl. so sweet. Look at your little snoot. Oh, oh, Graham's trying to get his time back on TV. <laughs> hey, you had your Hello, time, sir. pal. <laughs> Hello, sir. Maybe oh, he's not know. going for us. Maybe he wants the other kitties. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. No more kittens. Oops. Oh. We're on the run. Where do you think you're going? I'm leaving. I'm packing my bags. Oh, oh, oh. we see a dog. A dog? A that? Jack Russell. Yeah. Was that Jack himself? I believe that is Jack the man. Is yeah. that Jack the Jack the Russell? Jack the Jack Russell. Jack the uh. Jack Russell. We got really creative with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a Jack Russell. Oh, amazing. They're so much fun. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's such Pip. a good name, too. We named him after Peregrine Took from Lord of the Rings. Okay, I was going to yeah. guess Pippi Longstocking, but not the same pet. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how yeah. sweet. He was, he was 13 when he passed. Three, oh. three years ago on February 1st. Oh, that's such a long, happy life, though. Yeah. That's amazing. He was a, he was a rescue. It's amazing. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. He came from Indiana. What? And what do you have to say? 2008 oh. is when we got him. So he had a great life. He was so sweet. They come into your hearts and they, oh my they steal you for their lifetime. So. Oh, forever. Yes. Forever and ever. Yes. We got really fun enrichment toys in the mail the other day, and they love these things. They hang on their kennels and tease them. Graham, you are just a wild child, aren't you, buddy? Look at you go. <laughs> and how old is Graham? Is he's, he's five months old. Five months? Oh, yeah. he's still a baby. Yeah, he is oh. still a baby. He will always be a baby. There are always babies. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You want to play? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, are you also the mouse? <laughs> He's got a big squishy head. I love it so much. Those stubby legs. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Grab on. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you said that was Jack that just walked by? Yeah, Jack yeah. just walked by. All right. Any chance we could we could see Jack? I think or he's is going he... to a training session right okay. now, so I'm going to refrain from interrupting because okay. I don't want to steal his focus. That is perfectly fine. Yeah. <laughs> he gets a little distracted, and I don't want it to be my fault. <laughs> I understand completely. Yeah. All righty. So, uh, and you have some puppies here. Yeah, we can go understand. grab some puppies for Let's you. Do that. All right. Here, I'm gonna pass this to Bailey. All right. Go get us a puppy. Nice buddy. meeting, all of you. Have a great day and a best of luck. I hope you find your home soon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Put that back in here. Oh, I walk right by the oh, you're okay. the we'll, door. Oh, you okay. We'll go ahead and bring you a puppy and come right on back. Sounds great. All right, and who is this handsome boy? This is Gus. Gus is one of our puppies. He's three months old, and he is a Belgian Shepherd mix. Um, there's a fancy Malinois name for him, but okay. um, I had to ask, what is a Malinois? Yeah. And they said it's basically a very, very smart Shepherd mix. So okay. um, similar to overs. similar to a German Shepherd, um, probably going to be a big boy here. He's at three months old, nerdy, eighteen pounds. So, oh my um, goodness! But he is going to be a very smart boy. <laughs> one day lots of kisses lots of kisses <laughs> hi gosh he is so <laughs> playful and so yes. sweet i like to think so i like to think so so, so we have boy. puppies here in addition to adult dogs so if you're looking to have a puppy grow up with your family mm -hmm. um their whole life and and you don't want to bring home an adult dog we also have puppies here at our main campus and at our east campus puppies like gus <laughs> um we also have some retriever mixes and, and lots of other dogs um, available. They're not part of our Bissell Foundation because they're just young puppies and not quite a year old yet, um, but they are worth the investment. My sweet boy. 
Hi. 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 <laughs> oh, you don't need to see anymore, do you, Mike? <laughs> oh my goodness, you are so handsome. Yes. Oh, loves. I love all the loves. Yes. <laughs> and so we have behavior classes for puppies too. So just like we mentioned earlier with our adult dog classes, we have classes for our puppies. Um, in case you don't know where to begin, we can help you. Um, our adoption staff will walk you through it, all of our opportunities that we have. Um, all of our animals, they come um, when we adopt them out, they're spayed my, or neutered, microchipped, and up to date on their vaccine. So uh, you won't have to worry about anything right off the bat. <laughs> And uh, we'll make sure that we what? get you a good puppy. What is it, love bug? Yeah. Oh, good. He's yeah. such a good boy. And you can call me Gus Gus, too. Oh, he's such Gus, a good boy. Gus. Look at those Gus, big old Gus. mitts. Yes. Those big yes. old mitts. Yes. So, I am going to eat And what dog kind of dog is he? He is a Belgian Shepherd mix. Belgian Shepherd mix. Yes, okay. yes. So, you know, similar to German Shepherd, except we're Belgian. Look, showing how tall they are. Oh, we knock out the door. Not a toy. I just want to show you how big I was going to be one day and how you're, tall. You're just going to be a tower of a big man, aren't yes. you? Yes. You're going to grow to be so big and strong. And I'm going to be so smart. So please, if you want to adopt me, teach me all the tricks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Such a good boy. Yeah. Yes, he's such a handsome yeah. boy. Yes. Oh my goodness. Well, it was so lovely to meet you, Mr. Gus. Oh, thank you so much. It was lovely to spend my first <laughs> uh, three months of my life. I'm already a star. You are a star. You started a show. Yes. Yes, you started yes, a show. Yes. Oh. So Gus is at, also at our main campus, 241 Seedley <laughs> Drive, but we've got puppies at both our main and our east campus location. So if you're looking for a puppy, we hopefully have the one for you. Absolutely, yes. Look at, and yeah, look at this. What do you think? Face. Oh, did I find a good spot? Oh, did she find your spot? Yeah. Is that your spot? Yeah. Yeah. I'm having a good day. This is a good start to the day. Right. <laughs> well, it was certainly lovely to meet you, Mr. Gus. You got a firm handshake? Yes, you do. Oh, my goodness. We hope you find a home very, very soon. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I hope to go home with maybe one of the listeners today. Yes. Yes. What you smell? Yes. Come here and adopt every every animal here, please. They all need to go home. Yes. All of them, yes. They'll help you find any snacks you misplaced in your home too. Great <laughs> sniffer. What you smell? What you think? What you think, Mr. Gus? I think it's not fair that I haven't been given a treat yet. Oh, you need your yummy crispy yeah. bacon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've got my finger instead of the treat. We're still learning. <laughs> We're still learning. Oh, oh, oh. What do you think? Oh, I'm sorry. That's it. That's all I have right now. All right. Well, Mr. Gus, it was nice to meet you. We hope you find a home very, very soon, buddy. Oh, thank you. All right, and up next, we are joined by... Oreo. Oreo. Um, named for his paws. I'll get a little closer. You can see all that speckled milk and chocolate mixture he's got there. Um, but Oreo is only two and a half months old, so he's a baby puppy and uh, is a type of retriever mix. So um, not entirely sure what all he's made yeah. of, but similar to a Labrador retriever. Um, probably got some of that in him and um, will grow up to be a great companion pup in the home. Hi, sweet boy. Oreo, look, and he's got these. Look at these big old paws. Yeah. He's got these big old mitts. Big old paws to give big old handshakes yes. and big old hugs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what you think? What is it, buddy? You're like, I'm not used to being in the air. And I'm he's used a, to being on a plane. Look at a, that tail wag. Look at that tail. Wag. He's a Labrador retriever mix. Um, so we just know he's a retriever mix. So oh, okay. I'm not entirely sure. We don't do any of the full breed testing while okay. we're here at the Humane Society. Um, we let that be a fun little treat that you can do. Um, I actually just did it. I adopted my dog from the Humane Society and sent away her DNA test so oh, yeah? to find out exactly what she is. Right on. Results haven't been back yet, but. Um, no, unfortunately, we don't know fully what she's mixed with, but um, mixed with lots of hugs and loves and snuggles and probably some long walks. And how did she come to be here with you guys? Yeah, so a lot of times we bring in um, 
animals from other shelters when okay. they find that there was an accident, a litter that happened, and they didn't oh. have space for it. So um, she came to us from another shelter, and so we knew we had room in our puppy room, and you know around um, this time of year that puppies can be um, popular to come looking for. So we had time and space, and we thought, let's bring Oreo here. So he's here, um, and definitely a, a great A <laughs> puppy. Just licked the microphone if you heard that. See, you all got kisses from Oreo. That was his way of giving everybody else kisses. Look at him. Look at this Lay face. it on. Look at this face. He's so sweet. And oh, look how small. Oh, I miss that yeah. puppy breath. Oh, yeah. Oh, I miss it. I love it so much. Yeah. Oh, you mm. can see my little tail wag. <laughs> my little tail wag down there. So You are such a good boy, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I get a kisses. Well, thank you so much. So Oreo is not part of Bissell either, but um, okay. still available during over the weekend. So all of our animals, whether they're participating in the Bissell Empty the Shelters event or not, are still available for visit and adoption over okay. um, the weekend and over the upcoming week as well. So Oreo is here at our main campus. Come say hi. He'll give you all the kisses that you need. Um, and if your favorite cookie is an Oreo. Or like you, if you say cookie at home. Cookie. Yeah. Look at those ears parking up. Yeah. My house is full of cookies. Yes. Yeah. Now I can't eat Oreos, but <laughs> oh, yeah. you can call me Oreo. <laughs> chocolate hurts that old, that yes. tummy. Yes. And like chocolate melts your heart, this one sure melts my heart. Yes. Yeah. Look at the way that he just holds your hand. He is so Snuggle sweet. Snuggle up to you. He's got these big, beautiful eyes and these cheeks and... Oh, puppy Irresistible. Breasts. Oh, my heart is melting. Irresistible. He will melt all of your chocolate hearts. <laughs> yeah. Look at him. Dunk him in a glass of milk. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Look at this face. What's See these face? big floopy ears that are only going to get floopier. And they'll tell you how he's feeling. He'll yeah. give you all his personality in his ears. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What'd you think? What'd you see, boy? What'd you see? I see myself, and I don't think I've ever seen myself before. And I'm very interested. <laughs> Look how handsome you are. I'm a dapper gentleman. Yes. Yeah. Well, Oreo Should I put you in a bow? <laughs> wrap you up in a bow? Well, Oreo, thank you for being on. Can I shake your paw? Yes, you may. Shake your big old paw? Oh, yes, these big puppy paws. Yeah. Uh, my Lucy, she had when she was a pup, her paws were this big. Yeah. Now she's a grown up and they're not big old meaty no more. They they fit That's her body. Okay. They do. Yeah. But when they're so big like this, it's yeah. oh, I miss it. Well, I think they're a little smaller than Gus's, but <laughs> but you know, I'll probably still be a pretty big dog. Medium to You're big gonna dog. grow to be such a big, handsome man, aren't you? Yes. I like to think so. I wanna be the big tall one in the family. That's okay. Yeah. What'd you see? <laughs> Those ears just go straight forward. It's so cute. I think he's interested in listening to all the other dogs mm -hmm. bark. Yeah. There's so many new sights and sounds. Yeah. The world is my oyster. Yes. yes. So many new sights and smells, new smells you're yeah. going to get to experience. Oh. Yes. It's going to be the best. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You are so precious. <laughs> Well, come get your puppy snuggles, even yes. if you just want to take them out into our play yard and, and play around for a little bit. We always welcome visitors to come do that. And you guys do uh, fostering as yeah. well, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So um, if you are interested in fostering, it is one of the absolute best things that you can do for us. So that allows us to get some of our older dogs out of the shelter for a mm -hmm. little break. It allows us to get... Um, pregnant mamas who need to nurse with their babies, if that's up your alley, we can okay. hook you up with that too. Um, we can really find an animal that fits for both cats and dogs, puppies, kittens. If there is an animal that we can get out of the shelter for a little bit and into a home, we know it's going to help them on their journey. So okay. um, we'll find someone that matches what your household daily activity is like, and yeah. we'll make sure that they're a good match for you. Um, we want to set you up for success. And sometimes the fosters lead to what we call a foster fail. Um, yeah. You can adopt them, but we always um, have the dogs come back here too. And sometimes the fosters even find the animals their home. So, um, oh, that's great. Yeah, if you are interested in taking part in our foster, we provide you with all the food and care, medical supplies they may need. Um, and you're really doing us a favor by keeping them out of the shelter um, and yeah, bringing them into your absolutely. home. Absolutely. 
microphones. Are you trying to hold the microphone, guys? I am. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I will be a podcaster when I get older. Okay. Hey. That is what I'm thinking my there's, profession will be. There's two four-legged podcasters mm -hmm. in our house right now. Yeah. Well, what about one more? <laughs> <laughs> such a good boy yeah you're so sweet well guys thank you for being on the show and i hope you find your home very very soon yes all right maybe i'll be an oreo cheesecake soon <laughs> <Yes>. thank you <laughs> all right well thank you for letting us see all of those those beautiful animals of in course. your shelter of course and hopefully happy to have you here that uh, they'll all find home soon. And and who is this down here again? Rudy? <laughs> this is Ruby. It's Ruby, Ruby. is um, my personal dog. I adopted her from the Kentucky Humane <laughs> Society. And she is, I think, five months old now. So she's, uh, what you doing under there, girlfriend? What you doing? She smells all the dogs I just had <laughs> from the shelter. And she's calling me a traitor right now. So uh -huh. um, she thinks she deserves my soul, love, and attention because uh -huh. she's I've, the only dog in our house right now. I'm, I'm probably going to get a stern talking to with mine when I get home well, later you on. Know. It, worth it. I don't care. Yes. So worth it. Luckily, <laughs> she's used to me smelling like other animals because every day she usually stays at home. Um, mm -hmm. And when I come home, I naturally have been around the shelter all day. And so she sniffs the animals on me. But... Um, yeah, she, she thinks she deserves to be the only animal. So she just <laughs> wants to make sure I didn't bring any in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, to, to cap this off, uh, I did have some questions that, uh, that, uh, Tab wanted me to ask. Sure. So, um, now, uh, there is the, the Gaunt Foundation yes. double matching. Uh, is there any information on that? We found out about yeah. that yesterday. Absolutely. So right now we're in the midst of our Give Hope. Um, donation campaign. So every November and December, we make a big ask for uh, raising money for animal sh animals in our shelter. And so the Joanne Gaunt Foundation, they so generously wanted to encourage people to donate. And so they have agreed to match every donation that is given up to $40,000, which is so incredibly is wonderful. Fantastic. So that hopefully will incentivize people to yes. give, knowing that if you give $10, we're now going to get $20. So um, every gift really goes to providing the animals in our shelter, the food, medical care, love, anything they need until they do find their right to adopters. That is amazing. Yes. So wow. big thank you to the Gaunt Foundation. Yes. Thank you so and much. And there's really never been a better time to give since we do have that match opportunity out right now. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, and so... What can you tell our listeners about the Kentucky Humane Society, its background and all that stuff? And yeah. Is there any information you know about how it got started? And Sure. So we have been in existence for over 150 years. And wow. we are Kentucky's largest adoption um, agents or an animal shelter in existence. So mm -hmm. nearly 6,000 cats, dogs, and horses. I'm not sure if you know, we also work with horses. I recently um, found out about the horses. Yeah. Uh, that was so cool that... But then again, it is Kentucky. Yes. That is the state, yeah. that is the state bird. Yes. So, <laughs> yes, and nearly 6,000 are, are touched by us every year. And we um, welcome them in, in our doors and hopefully adopt them out too. So, That's um, amazing. Yeah. So, um, cats, dogs, they're located at our East and Main campus. Um, and our horses are out at our Willow Hope Farm in Simpsonville. Okay. Um, that's a newer initiative, I think, within the last 10 years. Um, and we rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome our horses. That is so yes. cool. Our, oh, yes. Wow. Yes. So we're really trying to make an impact, especially Kentucky being so strongly, like you said, in the horse industry. Um, we want to make sure that if there is, you know, horses live really, really long lives. So, oh, yeah. you know, if you adopt a horse, there's a possibility that at some point in your life, you'll no longer be able to care for the horse. And so mm -hmm. we will always try and rescue that horse. Or if we need to, if we notice that there is an abandoned horse, um, we'll try and rescue that with, with the help of local authorities um, and, and bring that into our care so that they can live the best life. And it's not just thoroughbreds. Um, we've brought in donkeys. We've brought in really? all sorts of horse oh, breeds. Wow. And um, one of my favorite stories was of Reese and Ginger. Uh, we found them starving on uh, the side of a mountain and oh brought goodness. them in, cared them. They're healthy now. And they just got um, relocated to a therapy farm. So they're now, That's after great. having been helped themselves, they are now helping lots of people by being therapy horses. So, That's so yeah, great. beautiful story and yeah. good work happening out at our Willow Hope Farm. Now, if there's horses all over the country that need mm -hmm. rehabilitation and medical attention, would you guys travel to wherever, like, like yeah. say Colorado? 
So right now, our Willow Farm only has capacity for 30 to 45 horses at any okay. given point well, in time. Because it's still pretty new? Yes. And okay. so, um, and just, you know, with the land and the barn capacity and mm -hmm. our staffing, um, we're anywhere 30 to 45 horses. We just brought in 14 horses earlier this week, um, and that puts us at 45, which is max, max capacity okay. for the farm right now. So okay. um, right now, there's such a need in Kentucky that we're not really traveling outside of the state. Uh, but Yes, I mean, that's something I'm sure we would consider in, in years to come if we ever had the resources available. But right now, we, we really want to focus on Kentucky and helping those that are in our own state. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so great. Um, what, is, what is the coolest dog or cat name you've heard here? Oh, Do you have a favorite? Uh, Name well, wise. name wise, I've yeah, got a yeah. couple. So okay. I really loved Pork Chop that came through <laughs> the know. door, um, and Charles Lickens, who we just adopted out. Um, I saw Charles yes. Lickens on <laughs> yeah. your Instagram. Yeah, Charles Lickens. We had so much fun. We were um, writing a little bio and and just really got <laughs> into the spirit of Charles Dickens himself. Perfect this time of year with yeah. the Christmas Carol. Exactly. Um, and I just learned we once had a donkey at Willow Hope Farm named Count Chocula, which I just think is an amazing name. <laughs> That's so. Awesome. Um, yeah, <laughs> our intake and admission staff, they have a lot of fun with naming our animals and um, yeah, the wildest names can come up and they'll name after Would famous musicians. I mean, whatever just comes a, to top of mind. Put an animal mind. spin on the, on the name. Right. Yeah. I mean, you could have... That's so cool. Tiger, you could have, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, whatever it may be, <laughs> whatever comes to their mind, they are creative. And I'm impressed that they don't recycle names on a regular basis, but it always seems to be new names coming through our door. That's so cool. Yeah. I've, I've always been curious, like what, when I, when I see these names on your social medias, like what's the, like the inspiration that goes into creating these unique, but these really cool names. You know, I asked that too. And, um, you go to your intake and it says it's whatever's top of mind or, or yeah. they look at the animal and it's what inspires them in that animal. So, okay. um, I don't know if they looked at an animal and thought you, you look like a pork chop, <laughs> um, uh, maybe just cause they look so delicious and you wanted to eat them all up. But no, I, I think they just like to have fun and puns are always welcome and, they're amazing. Yeah. Yes. They're amazing. Uh, what is the most unique animal that you've ever had dropped off here? Unique animal. Well, we only take in cats, dogs, and horses. So um, if there are other animals that, that come to us, that's unfortunately not something that we can bring in. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know. Yeah. Personality trait. So I heard um, a few years ago that we had a dog with two noses. Um, but what? I was not here during that time, but they were going through old records and looking Wild. at old photos. So, yeah, I mean, you can, you know, sometimes have interesting, you know, physical traits to the animals. Um, <laughs> but that's definitely the most interesting one I've heard. I didn't know you could have two noses. I have more, more snoots to boot. More snoots to boot. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for, for letting me come here and visit and, of course. and interview all of you and these amazing animals. And of course. I, she's, I guess she tuckered herself out. Yeah, she's ready for a nap. She probably was so worried about me being next door and, <laughs> that she just decided like, to stay uh, awake the whole time. And, and now she's fast asleep. Mom's back. I Mom's can go to back. sleep I now. Mom's back. I can sleep. Yes. <laughs> so uh, can, is there any information that you about that you could give uh, where they can find you on social media absolutely. and contact info, all that. Absolutely. So our website is kyhumane.org and that's where you're going to find our adoptables, how you can get involved if you want to start fostering or if you're interested in volunteering. We also have really um, wonderful things listed there for our wish list. So we have Chewy and Amazon wish list, which right. if you're hoping to donate and you'd like it to be physical yes. supplies, we always have it updated with our area of greatest need. Um, a lot of times it's kitten food, mm -hmm. um, or there can be blankets, beds, um, even some toys. So those live on our website. And then all of our social media is super easy. It's at KY Humane. So um, you can search us on Facebook, Threads, TikTok, um, Instagram. Instagram. You can see yeah. the pictures of yes. all the babies. Yes. So uh, we like to update our social media with yes. all of our fun opportunities. Um, things like we have different community events like our Willow Hope holiday experience. So mm -hmm. um, speaking of our horses, they have a holiday tours that they do out in Simpsonville. Okay. Great if you have uh, friends and family coming in from out of town this holiday. Um, it's a fun, like unique Kentucky thing to yeah. do. Um, yes, our social media and our website are the best way to find out any and everything about the Humane Society, the animals we have in our care and how you can help. That's so cool. 
and, and uh, we do have all uh, we were sent three links to yes. donate to and they have been they're already attached to our YouTube channel so Amazing. if anyone watches on YouTube uh, in the description click on all three of the links and do your thing uh, or one of them whatever you want to do they're all there uh, donate please Donate, yep. donate, donate. And we just want to say thank you so much to Grace Taproom for <laughs> thinking of the Humane Society and helping us continue this important work. Um, it's community partners like you that really help us continue to, to spread the word about the Humane Society and keep doing what we're doing every day. Well, it's been awesome. Thank you again for, for letting me come out. Yeah. And, ha ha, suck it, Dad. I got to come. <laughs> uh, but no, it's been awesome. And uh, I cannot stop looking at her. She is so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm quite biased and obsessed myself. So, oh, oh, you heard us talking about you. you Got to wake up now, right? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again. Thank and you. Thank you guys for watching uh, this video. We'll stream tomorrow. Yeah, because today's Friday. So tomorrow at noon and seven. Awesome. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and thank you so much for coming to us. That really made it easier for us to showcase multiple animals, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, really hopefully get the word out about. The, the cuties in our care. Yeah. And thank you guys for watching and tuning in to yeah. our 24 hour live stream for the Kentucky Humane Society. Click the links, donate, and keep watching this too because we have a lot of awesome guests. See you later. <laughs>